This is the movie that Planned Parenthood does not want you to see. It's called Unplanned, and it is the real life story of Abby Johnson, abortion clinic director turned pro-life advocate. It was filmed on a secret movie set to avoid protests. You play Cheryl in the film, the hard-hearted Planned Parenthood executive. Tell me about what attracted you to the script. Oh my goodness. Well, I knew I wanted to do the movie before I even read the script. I had met with the team, the writers, directors. They shared the story with me. And then I started researching. And when I knew that it was going to shed a more complete light on Planned Parenthood, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. So Cheryl is, is a no-nonsense character. She's tough, um, but the story overall is just, um, it's a true story. It's uh, inspirational, and um, I just knew I wanted to be a part of the story. Are you bracing for a big controversy? It's probably gonna come, unfortunately. You know, I would hope that it would be an opportunity to put some things on the table and have a dialogue, and it could maybe bring unity and not division. But I think that might be a bit wishful with where our, our the climate of our culture is. Uh, there's definitely going to be resistance and opposition, but whenever you fight for something, there's resistance. Uh, Mark Twain has a quote. I'm probably going to paraphrase it a bit, but he says something along the lines of, or said something, uh, when you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's a good idea to pause and reflect. So I think we have a majority of the direction our culture is moving, and it's based on what the media is telling us to believe, and not based on the full truth. So my prayer and hope is that Unplanned would lift the veil, if you would, and show the whole picture so that people would have a better sense of what they're a part of and really understand, does this truly empower women? If you're really behind empowering women and seeing women be all that they can be, is abortion part of that? Do you think people underestimate women that have had abortions, the psychological, emotional, and physical scars that they take with them for the rest of their life? Absolutely. That's a big part of my ministry. I wrote a book called Counterfeit Comforts, and it's about those things we go to for comfort, food, alcohol, relationships, counterfeits, um, because we haven't dealt with a lot of the trauma and the things that have happened in our lives. We've all had trauma. We all have wounds. So um, I think when it comes to abortion, there's often a lot of pressure in the moment, thinking about your future, but there's very little conversation about how that instant decision goes on to affect you for years to come. The grief, the depression, the sorrow, the shame. I can't speak for all women, obviously, but many that I've encountered personally carry that for years, for decades. And so one of my hopes for Unplanned is that it would be a part of a movement to uncover the shame, uncover the hidden secrets that are in families that women have carried, give them permission to, to share, to reveal, and then to heal. How important do you feel is the story of love, reaching them with love and both sides of the fence, redemption, forgiveness? That is the whole story. I don't think you can really reach people with judgment or telling them what they're doing is wrong, because I mean, who are we to decide that? And I know that Unplanned is not coming from that Bible-thumping type of perspective. Uh, it really is about love. It's about embracing all of us, because we've all made mistakes. We've all made mistakes. Absolutely. And so who's are bigger and who's are smaller? Again, how, how am I to say what's bigger or smaller? But that um, there is hope, regardless of what kind of choices you've made. 
and there is a way to get through the emotional traumas that our choices have created, regardless of how deep they are. And, um, and that the love, it's through the love of God, the love of, with each other. I mean, wouldn't it be great if this movie didn't just cause more division and hatred among us, but that there would be places of connection of love, that I could have more compassion on you and what you've been through. You could have more compassion with me, even if we disagree or have different belief systems. We can meet on the human level. We can agree on the humanity part. That would be my desire. And had a lot of healing. And then have healing.